Hello guys and welcome, it's Engineering Rebel and in this video I'm going to show you guys my concept V12 engine that I made on this website Onshape. I'm sure you guys are familiar with my 3 cylinder and my Boxer 8 that I also made on this website. Well I wanted to make a V configuration so I chose to build a V12. In this video I'll run you guys through all the parts and run it from multiple angles. So let's get started. So now onto the parts. I'm not really going to explain what the parts do or really go too much in depth because I already have a video explaining on how car engines work and if you don't know I highly recommend that you go check that video out and come back to this one. It's called car engines what you need to know. So this is the block and all of the parts for this engine are made from scrap so I started from nothing so this was once a rectangular prism that I started out with and by chamfering and extruding pieces I was able to make a block also I made it clear so you guys can see the piston moving up and down these are your sets of heads I got two sets of heads for each side one for the left one for the right so these are your intakes and this is where the exhaust would come out of you can also see the valves. Now this doesn't have moving valves because for this website I can't do that. But I did put these, I guess, imitation valves and how it would be arranged. But unfortunately it doesn't move due to this website and I haven't figured out yet because it's relatively new. The valve covers, they say the Goliath and that's the name for my engine. And I painted them in this very light gold, very suiting of a V12 in my opinion. And then I have an oil pan. This is what would rest under the crankcase. These are the cylinders. Now I improved my cylinder design before the connecting rod would stick on the side of the cylinder. Now I have made a small little slot the way it should be with a pin that would hold the connecting rod to the cylinder. Maybe in the future I might have piston rings. For this time I didn't, but you know, more room to improve. These are the cylinder pin. And then this is the connecting rod. This is the crankshaft disc. Now it doesn't look like a typical crankshaft, but for this website that's what it works. These are the pins for the crankshaft, so this would be the center pin. And then these are the other pins that would hold the connecting rod to the crankshaft. And then this is what would hold the flywheel to the crankshaft, and then this is the flywheel itself. And then when all assembled, it should look something like this. Okay, so now is the time to run the engine, so let me scroll down to turning point. And also you guys can see that this engine has in total of 83 parts holding everything together. Animate. I'm going to do 30. Now this is relatively slow, so this is not how it would work in real life, but I want to do it slowly so you guys get to see the firing order and how the cylinders move up and down much closer. So if I move this like that and zoom in. You guys can see how the pistons move up and down. So you would have your intake stroke, your compression stroke, your power and exhaust. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos are to come, so please stay in tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one.